If you are tall, it's fine. If you are short, it's okay. Good morning and welcome back to another video. My name is Bright AC. If you are seeing my face for the first time, you're welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, you are welcome back. I know that different people have their different opinions. And this video is based on my own personal opinion or point of view. You must have had experiences or encounter or where you have learned a lesson, something that taught you a lesson in life. Just like this one that I'm about to share in this video has taught me a big lesson and it's for good, okay? I had an encounter with two people years back. These two people must have forgotten that they had any discussion with me, okay? But I still remember it. I still remember it because it changed my life, like the way I think, the way I see things. While growing up, I've always wanted to make people happy, like please people. How is this person going to feel? I just don't want anybody around me to feel bad, even if it's going to affect me. But this particular one is something that is not that serious, may not be that serious to you, but it just hits me, hits me, like taught me a bigger lesson. When I was still single, okay, I was not this fat, like marriage and childbirth changed my life. I know I'm not fat, like fat, fat, but I know that I'm not this big, okay. But then I was also working on myself to trim myself down. I met someone in Onisha that day. I met two different people the same day, but different location, okay. When I met the first person... He was like, I have slimmed down. What am I doing to myself? I should stop it that I'm good like this. You know, that this size is good and all of that. And I was happy. I said, like, someone noticed that I am trimmed down, even though I was not big, okay? Then when I traveled few hours, I got to Enugu. My parents stay in Enugu. That's if you don't know till now. I am from Enugu State, but I'm married to a man from Imo states okay so when i got to enugu i met two women in my compound when i was about to enter the compound they saw me and they shouted hey you are now big girl. you are so big you are this this i was like ah. someone told me a few hours ago that i am now slim i should stop whatever i'm doing they have greeted them but because of what they were saying i had to stop so i was like no she said that I should know that I am still single, that guys don't like, men don't like someone that is fat. Or so, so, so. And I looked myself, I couldn't find where the fat is coming from. I just knew that they don't know what to say, they just want to say something. And sometimes it all depends on what people have in their mind about you before then, okay? I just looked at them. I didn't say a word. They are older women. I didn't say a word. I just turned with my luggage and everything and went inside. And later, I called myself a meeting. I said, Jachi. Jachi Ma is my evil name. If you have not heard of it. I called myself it. I said, sit down here. Ja, sit down here. I gave it a thought. And I now realize that people have different opinions. And any decision that you make that affects you, no one is going to bear your cross with you. Just take it like that. If you are big, accept yourself. If you are slim, accept yourself. If there is anything you can do about it, fine. If there is nothing, remove your mind there, okay? If you are fair, it's good. If you are dark, it's good. If you are tall, it's fine. If you are short, it's okay. Just do things that will make you feel good and not against your creator and won't affect your family. Okay? It's helped me to make decisions that are good to me. And I am not even bothered. Be joy. 
and I am not even bothered about what people will say. My boy will not allow me to make this video. I am not even bothered about what people will think or what people will say. It has really changed my life for good. From that day, I've never forgotten it. And I'm not holding it against them. It's just that I am glad that it helped me to know that people have different points of view at any time. If you are trying to please these people, you might not be able to please this other person. Okay? So you have to take your own step. Things that will favor you. Things that are good to you. Things that will make you happy. That will not spoil things for you in future. Just do it. Be happy with yourself and forget about whatever opinion anybody has. Mm? That is my lesson and I want you to learn it. If you have not learned it till now, it happened years back and it has helped me to make a very huge decision of my life that is favorable to me and I loved it. Okay? Because I know that if I didn't have such encounter, I wouldn't have even known that I'm supposed to forget you know theory is not always about theory it's practical if if people are telling you something maybe your parents or their son and it's changing the it's changing the the environment so it does not matter if you are taught if you are being taught maybe by your parents or by your siblings to uh, do something that is good for you or all of that sometimes it's it's the the experience or the encounter that will even teach you mm? that is it and i even thank god that i didn't learn the hard way okay it's just a mild something please if you are still watching and you have not subscribed to this lovely channel what are you waiting for like my video and subscribe to my channel okay <laughs> And thank you for watching to this point. See you next time. Bye.